The work's getting harder, isn't it? I guess. I don't have to. But we do something. Uh, we appreciate all of you. Excuse me. Uh, we've got some names in my team who we are. Uh, we're homecoming, we think, about we're going on Sunday morning. Maybe we want to throw another one in. We got Boy Buffalo, that was the name that uh, Brother Cecil gave me. And we've got uh, the Cammies, Ruth Brothers. around them hates them. They want them destroyed. 
They want them off the face of the earth. They have said so. But nevertheless, after all the threats, they are still there. Adolf Hitler tried to use the Bible to destroy Israel. He had his people believing because they, they had a proud heart. And so Hitler, his chief man, the reason World War II started, they got together. And Germany had been beaten badly in World War I. They were in starvation. Their name was dirt all over the world. And so Hitler and Hitler got together and said, we've got to do something to make the world know that we're alive. We've got to come up with a plan that does something fantastic that the world knows we still have power. So what did they do? They got together and to begin the plan, war against Israel. They began to plan war beyond Israel to all the nations around them because they said we will conquer the world and we will have an Aryan nation. All people who are undesirable will be killed. And through our minds and through our strength and through our knowledge, we're so smart. We're going to create a nation on earth where there will be nothing but the people we choose to be. They will be all white. They will all be Aryan nations. That's what that means. And so therefore they sit down and they planned out we will destroy England, we will destroy Austria, we will destroy Italy, we will destroy France, and the whole time, and then we will destroy the Soviet Union. But when the Germans started in the Soviet Union, the Soviet Union was completely broke. They say this had no army. They didn't have any weapons hardly at all. But when the start, Germans started picking on Israel, and when they started killing the Jews, even though the Russia didn't like the Jews either. Nevertheless, when Germany went into Russia, that great nation of millions of people, but yet they weren't prepared. And when they got in there, it looked like it would be a cakewalk, and in a few days, Hitler's army would conquer Russia. But all of a sudden, the Russians came at them without weapons, without tanks, without anything, so to speak until they started manufacturing them and held them off until they could get them. And Germany was basically ran out of Russia and destroyed and defeated because that God gave power to that nation that was also wicked, who hated Israel because they hadn't the power enough and they hadn't done anything to Israel but Hitler had. And with that, this all came about just because God's chosen people didn't even have a nation they were scattered all over the world and still are today. But until after World War II, they had no place to live but in a strange land. I remember when I come up, there were some people in Flemingsburg. They had a store and, and they were Jews. And I remember people wouldn't buy from them because they had in their mind that the Jews killed Jesus Christ and they were the enemy. The propaganda that went out from Germany had its effect upon the United States of America. People knew that Hitler was slaughtering the Jews in 1938 and 39 before 1941 uh, when the war started. But nevertheless, they turned their back on it because they didn't realize the depth of what God was going to do. But when that this all come about and all happened, and that there was people, there was the Freed Brothers in Flemingsburg. Some of you might be old enough to remember those stores that were there. But people wouldn't buy from them. My father was stuck in this frame of mind. And I remember he'd come home and he brought a tarpaulin once from the stockyard of Flemingsburg. He said, I want this and I needed this, but I had to buy it from a Jew. I didn't know what it meant. And of course, he was ignorant in the whole thing. But that's the power that German uh, uh, propaganda had upon the world. So they just got bolder and bolder and bolder. And they became so foolish, they thought they could conquer the world. And so they killed six million of the Jewish people. In their stupid thinking, they thought they were smart. But friend, let me tell you today, and quickly going over this. The, when the war ended in 1945, immediately the Jews started coming in. In the Old Testament, it tells us that they would be coming home on the wings of eagles. Well, the older people couldn't figure that out. But until we saw the airplane, we saw the jet planes, and we saw the four engine planes, and we saw all of these come to pass, all of a sudden from all over the world, out of Russia and everywhere else, 
the Jews started flocking back to the homeland and took a little strip of land that is no bigger than that compared to the countries around them. And they set up a nation and were given the right to have a nation. And when they were given the right to have